Hey guys, happy Monday. All right, before we get started on today, I just want to point your attention to this lovely little sheet that she picked up that looks like this. You have a test this Thursday and Friday on photosynthesis and cellular respiration. This essentially is a cheat sheet, a review of the main points from the unit. So I would be studying this every night. It sort of ties everything together. All right. We are going to be describing the process of aerobic cellular respiration. We'll go over exactly what aerobic means in a second. So we're going to be describing this process in terms of reactants, products, and locations of where they're happening in the cell and the organelle. We all know cellular respiration as our famous formula of OGWAC, because this unit is, of course, WAC. But there's actually a little bit more to it. There are two types of cellular respiration. There's aerobic cellular respiration, which requires oxygen, aerobic like air, I need oxygen, and anaerobic cellular respiration, which does not require any oxygen. All right, I remember it because it has NA like na in it, like nah, I don't need any of that oxygen, I'm good. Today we're going to be focusing on aerobic cellular respiration. I'm going to just put up some notes for you to copy for each section. Um, pause the video, copy it. I'm just going to sort of talk through what each of the sections mean. All right, so our first section is glycolysis. There are actually three steps in cellular respiration. You can see that on your cheat sheet. What we are focusing on today is going over this aerobic part, and there are three steps, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Your first step is called glycolysis. This is when you take one glucose molecule that you start with, and you actually split it, and you get two molecules that are called pyruvate. So this is P-Y-R-U-V-A-T-E. This is actually an anaerobic process. So I know we're talking about aerobic cellular respiration, but the first step is actually anaerobic, which is kind of confusing. Um, and this whole process happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. My second step is this. So make sure that you pause, have a chance to write this down. This is called the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. The purpose of this is to transfer energy to the electron transport chain. So ETC is electron, I'm just going to write this in abbreviation, electron transport chain. This happens in the mitochondria specifically, so the pyruvate travels into the mitochondria and then it produces two ATP molecules six carbon dioxide molecules, and then 10 electron carriers. That's really important for the electron transport chain. My third step is, in fact, my electron transport chain. So, or I like to call it ETC because electron transport chain is just too long. Nobody has time for that. All right, so this uses the energy from the Krebs cycle. Remember, I produce energy to ACP to make essentially more ATP. This happens in the mitochondria, specifically on the cristae or the inner folds of the mitochondria. My reactants for this are my 10 electron carriers that I produced here and six oxygen molecules. This all together produces 32 molecules of ATP and then some water. So this is like the mother load of ATP. If I count between all of my steps, all three steps, from glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain, I get a whopping total of 36 molecules of ATP. All right, so this is the bulk of what's produced. So remember one of our products was ATP? We now know specifically through one glucose molecule, literally just one glucose molecule, I can produce 36 six molecules of ATP. That's pretty ridiculous. All right, I want you to flip over your page because we're going to summarize what we just learned in terms of like where this is happening. So I know for photosynthesis, we kind of drew this structure. So I have a leaf, I have a plant. 
All right, if I zoomed in on a part of a leaf, I would see a plant cell. So it has a nucleus. This is a plant cell. Nucleus. Okay, we know that plant cells have chloroplasts. This is a chloroplast that performs photosynthesis like we talked about on Friday. And then it also has the mitochondria. All right. We remember that our first step of our first step of cellular of aerobic cellular respiration is glycolysis. Glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. That's all that gooey stuff. Okay, so this is where glycolysis happens. This is in the cytoplasm. I get those two pyruvate molecules. I'm not going to write out every detail about this. This is just a summary. So this is where it happens. Then I'm going to zoom in on my mitochondria so that I um, can see the rest. So, OK, there we go. There's my mitochondria. All right, so my first step was glycolysis. I get my two pyruvate molecules. That then goes into the matrix. Remember, the matrix is inside these folds. For my second step of the Krebs cycle, otherwise known as the citric acid cycle. Don't ask me why they named it two things for the same thing. This is happening in the matrix. And then my third step happens on the cristae, these little folds. My third step is the electron transport chain. This is when I get the most ATP. I'm getting like 32 molecules of ATP, which is ridiculous. We call this the ETC. And this is happening on the cristae or the inner folds of the mitochondria. So this is just to give you a little bit of perspective of where things are happening. Um, what you are going to do is go back to the announcement on Google Classroom. You are going to find the Google form and then you're just going to go through some practice questions to help you maybe synthesize this information just a little bit better. I know this is a lot, but the more that you practice with it, work with it, the better that you're going to do on your test Thursday and Friday. And use um, the little cheat sheet that I gave you. So remember, aerobic cellular respiration is what we just talked about here. It's glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. So use that to help you if you need. All right, and get started.